Occupy Nova Scotia group is still protesting today, even after being kicked out of a Halifax park last night. I want to show you the scene at the demonstration site yesterday evening. It was a different scene compared to what happened earlier in the day. Fourteen people were arrested for violating a bylaw that prevents people from camping in a municipal park. For more on the arrests of Occupy Nova Scotia protesters, we've reached the mayor of Halifax, Peter Kelly. So, Mayor Kelly, what exactly is the situation at Victoria Park today? Is everyone cleared out? Um, from what we understand, everything is back to normal. It's now a public space for the public to use. Uh, that was one of the main complaints that people want to be able to use for public parks again, uh, and uh, that's when council made the decision to enforce the bylaws. Now, we've seen some of the pictures from yesterday when uh, the protesters were evicted. It's, it looked like uh, there was certainly a bit of uh, pushback and, and some scuffle with police. We also spoke to a protester from Occupy Halifax talking about yesterday's eviction. Let's just have a listen to what he has to say. I has handled this uh, incorrectly from day one. We were always happy to negotiate, to hear, hear his views. I think we worked well with veterans in uh, allowing them, them what they needed. The mayor could have taken the same channels and tried to fig uh, figure out a way that we could happily coexist. Mm -hmm. This didn't need to come to violence. The mayor so uh, despite uh, the arrest yesterday, Mayor Kelly, uh, Ian Matheson is, is saying that there was insufficient dialogue, that, that you know what happened yesterday was unnecessary. How do you respond? Uh, we can co exist. They have the right to protest and bring their voice to the public in a democratic process. What they can't bring is their tent. So we've made the decision uh, that we'll enforce the bylaw and uh, the public are welcome to use the public space and they can also come and they can protest every day, uh, but they cannot bring the tents with them. So if they didn't have tents and stayed overnight, that would be okay? No. Uh, again, we have a parks bylaw and there are mm -hmm. some time frames in that as well. We're asking they can come at any time uh, under the bylaw and they can bring their voice and bring their protest. It's just that they cannot bring the tents with them. And what's the latest on the 14 people who were arrested and charged with obstruction of justice? Have they now been released? Um, I don't have that information. That's a police, uh, a police, uh, uh, police matter, and for us uh, that becomes an operational issue, for, and uh, we will just deal with the element of the enforcing the bylaw that council had asked to be enforced. Tell me a bit more about uh, the basic reason for this bylaw. If, if the justification for the eviction comes down to concerns about safety, what exactly is the concern regarding safety? So under the bylaw, there is no public camping or tenting on public space. If we did, we'd have tents all over the place. Mm. And so it's a, it's a long-standing um, uh, a, a bylaw that protects parks and open space. And the public made several complaints, again, not to be able to use that, their public space. And uh, with the complaints and the other concerns raised, it was felt in the interest of public safety and also the bylaw that we should in, enforce the bylaw. And that's the approach that we take. You know, when I talked to you two weeks ago, you were at that point asking the protesters to leave the square across from City Hall uh, to make room for Remembrance Day observances. Uh, now the city is saying that protesters can't return to that square, or can they? They, can, they cannot. So uh, we had made clear that is a park area, mm -hmm. that is a public space. They can come back there as they're doing today and um, protest and bring their voice, but they cannot bring their um, a tents back. It's about uh, finding the compromise. I say bring the voices, bring your demonstrations, but do not bring the tents. So in your view, is this now all resolved, it's case closed, or is there any reason to have further dialogue with the protesters? Uh, again, they can come and bring their protest, but they will not be able to tent on any public space and it will become a matter of operations and the bylaw enforcement and police will enforce the bylaw. Okay, Mayor Kelly, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, I appreciate your time.